Sports and Entertainment News. Cynthia Morgan, I've got plans for fans. You bust up my brain, you can't even say. So the girl them wine, the girl them wine. Sultry songstress Cynthia Morgan, as fondly called, is sure ready to read out lots of goodies to fans. Speaking on movies, she said, Clothing line. Good, good. Keep it soaring, girl. Secondly, on the local scene, Coptic in Keep Shining featuring Manifest. Smokes and all vain is what fame and mirrors are for. The more, the merrier, of course, I rep my area. The highly anticipated video from Coptic Manifest for Keep Shining, which is of Coptic's The Rising Stars of GH Volume 3, Manifest, challenges all MCs with this amazing song. Death, I'm afraid of failure. Now to the foreign scenes. James Bond Pussy Galore returns a new novel. But I stole their dreams away. Those Ian Fleming's famous leading lady is back in Anthony Horowitz's new official Bond novel, Trigger Mortis. The best selling author has revealed his new 007 adventure begins in 1957, two weeks after the end of Fleming's original novel, Goldfinger. The book, out on September 8th, is set against the backdrop of Soviet-American space race, as well as Pussy Galore, played by Honor Blackman in 1964's Goldfinger film. The new book features a newborn girl called Jeopardy Lane and Jae Sung Sin, a sadistic scheming, Korean adversary. Trigger Mortis will begin with an original Fleming idea, a motor racing scene written for an unmade TV series. Horowitz said, it was always my intention to go back to the true bond, which is to say, the bond that Fleming created and it was a fantastic bonus having some original unseen material from the master to launch my story. He went on, I was so glad that I was allowed to set the book two weeks after my favorite bond novel, Goldfinger, and I'm delighted that Pussy Galore is back. It was great fun revisiting the most famous Bond girl of all, although she is by no means the only dangerous lady in Trigger Mortis. I hope fans enjoy it. My aim was to make this the most authentic James Bond novel anyone could have written. <music> Lastly on the foreign scene, Tomorrowland takes top spot at box office. It's running out. The future doesn't look so bright for Tomorrowland. Disney's expensive fantasy adventure essentially had Memorial Day weekend to itself and still only pulled in a modest $41.7 million in the first four days in theaters according to Rentrack estimates on Monday. It's a disappointing debut for a film that cost a reported $180 million to produce. Where nothing was impossible. You're not saying this? Casey, stop it! Away. Disney put their full worth behind the broad bread directed film with an ambitious George Clooney led promotional. Hollis noted that Tomorrowland will be one of the only PG rated family films in theaters until Disney and Pixar's Inside Out opens on 19th of June, which could be promising for its longevity, especially considering that many schools have yet to close. We're optimistic that originality and the vision that Brad Bird put on the screen is something that people will find and evangelize and hopefully get other folks to show up, said Hollis.